Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20. This is episode 9 of our Home on the Range Rovers save. We're with Forrest Green, and after last episode, we've continued our run of form. We actually stunned top-rated crew 1-0, Harvey White with a late penalty, and then we beat Cheltenham 1-0, uh, with a goal from Aaron Collins. Tom Nichols was sent off in the 40th minute for Cheltenham. We really dominated this match, just not enough goals in. And uh, so hopefully we can continue our run of form. I did uh, change over to a new tactic in these two games. I knew we were underdogs against Crew, so I played a 4 4 1 1 bringing the attacking wingers back to midfield and having you know a flat four in the midfield and pushing our defensive midfielder up into a number 10 for a second attacking option. And that actually got, uh, what was his name? Williams? Where's he at? There he is, George Williams. I actually put him up in the number 10 spot. Uh, he had the broken leg at the beginning of the season, so he's just coming back, getting into a little bit of, of uh, condition. But... Form, still a little ways to go, but that is okay. Uh, so we're playing uh, Plymouth. I can't. I was going to come back for Cheltenham, but with the two results, uh, with the result, uh, Plymouth is currently sixth. Bradford City is fifth. Uh, Cheltenham was actually behind us uh, a good bit, so I thought this was a better one. We've jumped up into third position. Even with Crawley on points, a plus six goal differential there, and still holding on to that 17 draw mark, which has just been a killer. If we could have just won three of those games, that would be an extra six points, and we'd be top of the table. So, yeah, if we don't go up this year, we have nobody to blame but ourselves for all the draws. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, let's see. I uh, need to move back to somewhere. Oh, well, we'll just hit team selection. Uh, we are on the road. We are under, uh, we are favorites. Uh, so I am going to go balanced here just because we're on the road. All right, we have Bernard, Shepard on the back line, McGinley and Rawson in the center defense, Hall and Williams on the wings, White and Pilge in the mid. He's back from his injury. Collins drops to the number 10, and Atchison up top. Kitching, Winchester, March, Davis, and Adams on the bench. Smith in the goal, and Thomas backing him up as the reserve keeper. They're playing a 3-5-2 of some sort. Uh, so we would like to maybe focus on the outside. We'll see how the possession and everything goes early, and then we may tick that box to focus on the outside on the wings. All right, we're in the blue kits today. You know, I think that would be something really fun uh, if it were a opportunity to have in Football Manager. Because, you know, we're at the point they're just starting to release kits like this week, right? And uh, you should have poached that ball right there. Ugh. And neither one of my guys cut that off. Oh, my God. Ryan Hardy's offsides. Thank God. But yeah, you guys were way off the mark. And yeah, boy, he was almost played on by Bernard. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll take that. All right, let's get creative. Um, so that was a suggestion that I made was, you know, the kits are coming out. And I know fans get, get all excited about the new. Collins puts it in off the deflection. 22nd goal, McGinley, our center back with the header. That got deflected by the keeper, and that is in, and we are up 1-0. So, I, you know, it would be really interesting if we could kind of design our own kits every season, right? 
And, you know, maybe, maybe that would be well received by the fans. Maybe it would not. Maybe it would lead to more shirt sales. Um, you know, and you would just never know. Like Leeds United like this past season, they came out with that charcoal gray with the pink uh, lettering and everything. And it was not received well by the fan base when it was first announced. Oh, good save. And, oh, he cannot get back in Danny Mayer, his fourth of the season. That was a little unlucky. We needed to get a foot on that ball to clear it out. Yeah, I'm going to change you guys to just central defenders. And that, yeah. Just get the ball out. Just get it out. It's all I want from you. And uh, so I think that would be a neat feature to be able to design your own kits and have, you know, have, di you know, <laughs> have different patterns and then you could colorize the patterns or whatever. I, I don't know. Uh, go out and prove a point. You watch a booking. All right. We are not dominating this game yet. I'm going to go up to positive and ask him to get creative. Because we are handling possession. All right, let's make a sub in here. Shepard it right back. We can move Bernard over there and then bring, say, Kitching. And then Pilge and Adams, I think. So a few, a few rotations in there. Paul lays it off to Bernard. Crossed in. Uh, headed out. Kitching's there. Played in. Collins just wide with the header. Oh. Uh, tactically. I'm going to take off work into the box. It was one I had ticked thinking it might help us out. And... What do I want to do here? I think we're going to move Kitching inside and then bring Davis on that back line. All right, let's uh, let's demand more. And we're going to go attacking here in the last few minutes. Three minutes of stoppage time. And going attacking, we could either give up the goal here or we could steal a goal. I don't know which. It's getting dangerous. We're putting a lot of pressure on them there. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop into balanced here. Because I think they're pulling us back. They're pulling us back and they're looking for a one up top. He had to have been offsides. Not offsides. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. All right, White out to Davis. Squared in. Come on, come on. I need you guys to make a play. Nobody made a run. Collins takes a ping at the goal. That was from that was very optimistic. 11 on target. No to four clear cut chances. We got lucky in that game. Um, okay, we'll sympathize with them. I don't know why. Oh, that's that knocks us down to. So Bradford got the win. They've got four wins in their last five. They've got a loss, but we've got two draws, so that kind of that balances out. In fact, they're better off with the loss than we are with the draws. We are over Crawley, who are on back-to-back -back losses. We've secured a playoff spot, but we are really gunning for that number three spot. And we're within striking distance of the top of the table, so 
Let's get back for the next match and see what happens. All right, well, here's a look at the run-in. So we have secured playoffs. Uh, we play, there we go. Uh, so we have third, 14th, 22nd, and first. Looks like Crawley Town might have the easiest road. Colchester's isn't hard either. Everybody's outside of the top 10. Bradford's got a pretty rough run in. Ours is pretty tough. We may we may have the hardest run in there. Oh well. Also, here's our youth intake. So uh looks like our top player is Amika Madu, a right back. Uh three and a half star potential. Mm, not horrible, but not great. Orlando Thomas. There was actually a guy named Orlando Thomas that played safety for uh, my college's football team. Went on to have a pro career with the Minnesota Vikings. Was really good. Named Orlando Thomas. Uh, let's see. He's 16. Probably take a shot at him. Max Parsons. Don't like his pace at all. I don't think we will get anything from there. And that's about it. Not a whole lot going on. We do have some match congestion uh, coming up. Uh, you see we play in two more matches. So three matches in an eight-day period. Uh, it's going to be a little tough, but we will uh, work through it. Uh, I've withheld anybody from the... the uh, the reserves teams, uh, just in case. So tough match with Bradford City today, but we are the home team. So we're going to dial this up to attacking. Uh, what uh, what are they playing? A four? They're playing a four four one one as well. Okay, that's good. Atchison Collins. Let's get to it. Encourage the team. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I like the green and black here. I think it looks good, but that would never go over for Leeds United, man. <laughs> the fans would lose their shit. All right. Shepard took a knock, but he looks like he's recovering from it. Um, yeah, looks like they may be playing a big counterattack. Atchison up into the zone, takes a touch, and that was not a good finish opportunity. Four on target, no clear-cut chances. There's a header, and Collins at the back post, his 23rd of the season. And that puts us up 1-0. We're going to give him a spot of praise from that. Early 1-0 lead. Another corner opportunity. And Rawson, his fifth, doubles the lead in the 32nd minute. Mar Marin Pills with the assist. Fifth goal for Rawson. Both off of set pieces. That's nice. We come right back to a kickoff highlight. That's scary. Very scary. Oh, well, we get the ball. Lays it out to Shepard. Over to Pills. White. Oh, a nice little chip out and a chest down by Davis. It's blocked in the box. Hall back to Davis. Oh, he was tackled hard. I was thinking that might be a big counter opportunity with that clearance. Uh, drop in pass to Mondal. White. Hall. And Hall finds the post. Fourth goal of the season. Harvey White. What the what a play by the playmaker in the midfield. And I hope my pop filter was working right there. 3-0 in the 33rd minute. I think we're going to drop back to positive here, boys. Good tackle away. Cleared out. Atchison. 
He's got nobody with him. He takes a shot and almost finds the inside of the post. Oh, that was so close. That would have been a spectacular goal. Pills, and it's McGinley. The center back's up top for the header off of the direct free kick from Pills, and it's in. It's 4 nil. We're going to tell them to concentrate. We don't want to blow this. All right, they're overwhelmed. They're uninterested. Fair enough. They have yet to take a shot. Collins just misses the back post with that header opportunity. Oh, there's a drop-in pass. Good block. Oh, what a finish by Jake Reeves. That was from about 30 yards out. 25. All right. I was a little uh, little big on my uh, estimation there. It's like a fish story, you know? It's always a little bigger in the retelling. Just off of the block. That was, that was a little unlucky. We played some decent defense there, but uh, that was a good finish. Just a bang, bang shot. And honestly, I just really want to get to the half here, fellas. That was not good. All right, Pills over the top. Atchison. Oh, that would have been nice to get that one back, but it wasn't to be. Good finish. They're looking for underlaps. Headed over to White. Played back to McGinley. Building out of the defense again. All right. Pilsch. Back to Rawson. Finds Mondal out in space. Back post. And it bounces off the keeper. And Rob Hall, his fifth goal. He steals one back for us in stoppage time here in the first half to make it 5-1. to one. We're going to praise. All right. We are really dominating here. That's good. Let's take a look. Crawley's in a draw. Crew, I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about top two, but they're winning. North Ham Colchester's winning. They're in front of us. Who's the other team up there? I forget. Is it Cheltenham? Don't recall. Oh, well. All right. We appreciate your efforts. Everybody's playing well. Very good. Let's tell them no pressure. Oh, taken down. That's going to be a foul. No, it looks like he, he's calling the advantage. Crossed in, Atchison, and there's the, oh, it goes wide. That was unlucky. Only one clear-cut chance out of all that, right? Um, are we working? Yeah, we are working into the box. Yeah, we're doing all right there. Really don't want to mess up a whole lot. All right, let's make a sub here. Uh, Rawson is about dead. We'll bring Kitching in to the center back. Um, Harvey White, let's rest him up. We'll bring Winchester on for him. Pretty happy that Collins is uh, continuing to find goals from the uh, number 10. Um, let's encourage him. Oh, taken away by Winchester. Atchison's up top. He's got a one-on-two breakaway. And he gets stuffed in the box. McGinley, Kitching, both on yellow cards. I'm going to have to watch that. In fact, let's pop in there. Uh, McGinley... We could bring Davis inside and no, not really, not really. 
Well, at least that way Davis is inside for any, uh, you know, any any rough play. Oh, and you know what? We we want those guys to be central defenders. Yeah, just clear the ball, just clear it out. Uh, well, I guess Rob Hall's tired, but you guys don't like me taking people off when they can get a hat trick. So I'm going to pull, oh, I wish he was on the field. I don't have him on the bench. All right, tell you what, I'm going to bring Collins up top and then Atchison for Williams. Yep, there we go. We will do that. Oh, there's a good entry pass. Ooh, just tipped wide by Smith. Just tipped wide. Oh, they didn't like the encouragement. 87th minute, McGinley. Throw into the box. Oh, it was blocked. Williams took a ping at the goal there. And they just hoofed it down the field. Big win. Big win. Wow. Appreciate the efforts. That was stellar. That puts us up into third position for the automatic again. Crawley got the win. We're a point up and goal differential. Bradford's loss drops them two behind us. And Plymouth is now five behind us. We're only one behind Colchester, who we end the season with. And they're turning in a bad run of form. And Crew. They did win today against Newport, but they have collapsed in their last five matches. So we've got a shot. We have got a shot. Oh, man. Hall, two goals. Definitely a good match for you. All right. We have three matches left. So Newport is 15th. Cambridge is 22nd. Colchester is is second i tell you what i think what i'm gonna do is we're gonna come back only for colchester because if we miss automatic promotion then we're gonna have a playoff game right then we'll have to have a playoff in there so we'll do colchester it may only be a one match episode but if there's a playoff involved then we'll add the playoff match in there and then we'll see what happens um all right. Now, but if it looks like we're going to be automatic promotion, then I might want to come back and do two matches. I tell you what, if we make the playoffs, there's four teams. So we're going to have at least two, if not three games, right? So let's go ahead and come back for Cambridge and Colchester anyway. Just, just keep it simple. And uh, we'll do the last two matches of the regular season. We'll do that next episode. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, let me know in the comments below. Smash that like button for me. I do appreciate it. And we will see you guys back on the pitch. Take care. Bye.